Hey, John Yaks here, co-founder of Yaks Yoga Concepts and Yoga for Life Mastery. Today, I want to talk to you about meditation, uh, which is the sexiest subject to talk about, um, and the re uh, why meditate, right? The three major benefits of meditation. Uh, inevitably, when I talk to people about meditation, it's always, oh yeah, I want to meditate because if I meditate, I'll have that the mystical mo the mystical experiences like the uh, like the sages and the saints have, where I'll meditate long enough that I'll le start to levitate, right? Or I'll, s I'll feel my chakras align, or I'll see colors, or I'll see rainbows, or I'll have uh, I'll be able to walk through walls. <laughs> and so we get this idea of meditation being a very mystical experience, and we've done meditation classes in the past and courses in the past, and we'll have a lot of people show up for the first one, and then after we practice the actual practice, we do the, 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 the uh, formal practice of meditation. Uh, the next uh, class, there's usually half of the amount of people. And then after that, there's half of the amount of people. And then we have like a handful of diehards that are like, oh yeah, I'm into this because I know the benefit. Uh, what ends up happening when we meditate, guys, is that we're actually sitting with ourselves. Now, n not to say that you, could, you, 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 you won't have mystical experiences, that, that happens for people, but what is what what's really happening is that we're being with ourselves we're noticing the chatter of the mind we're noticing how crazy the mind is right we're all a little bit crazy myself included right when i sit still i start to notice it and as i use techniques as i use anchors and ways of of holding my attention to one point i can when my mind turns and i start to chatter i can bring it back and i can bring it back and i, I can bring it back so Let's talk about this. Three major benefits of meditation. This is the why, right? If this isn't good enough, if this isn't spicy enough to get you on your meditation cushion and get you started meditation, um, I'm not sure what, what, what else would be. First one, number one is awareness. Awareness is the, uh, it's the bedrock of everything that's important. Awareness is the ability to be present with life as it unfolds in front of us. Why is that important? Because if I come home and my wife had just the most intense day and she needs, uh, she needs 20 minutes to just vent. She needs to just say, John, here's my day and this is what happened. This with the kids and this and this and, and here's what happened over here and I had a phone call with this person and there was a, and if I'm not aware if I don't, if I'm not able to hold the space and just be with her and I try, I get caught in my head. I'm like, oh, this is how I can fix it. This is what I'll tell her. And this is what I'll say. And this is, and not really give her the awareness that she's, that she's truly wanting and asking for. Uh, then I'll, then I'll stumble all over the, uh, all over the situation. I'll throw in ideas. I'll say, hey, this is how to fix it. Hey, this is what to do. And she'll say, mm, I don't care. I'm not trying to get a fix. I'm trying uh, I, I just need a vent. I just need to express myself, right? This is important because uh, if my kids are acting out, if my kids are running around and going crazy, I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old at the time this was filmed, uh, my little ones are going all over the place and they're like, daddy, they're pulling on me and trying to get my attention and throwing their toys and, and pushing each other and wrestling with each other and making noise and doing their thing. If I don't have the awareness to see through that and realize, oh, I've been at work all day, what they're really asking me to do is pay attention to me, Dad. Connect with me. Get on my level. Talk to me. Like wrestle with me. Connect with me. If if I if I don't have awareness, I'll react. I won't see that, right? Uh, business meetings. And if you if you if you're in that world where you have to have business meetings, you have to talk to people. If you wanna if you wanna present your agenda, if you want to if you're trying to work out. Uh, an important meeting where you're asking for something and the other person's asking for something. If I don't have awareness, I'm not going to be able to hear the, hear the other per person's concerns and what they're really needing in this in the situation. Awareness is everything, guys. We have, if we don't have awareness, we're running off old programming. We're running off subconscious programming. Stuff that's been there based off past experiences, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Number two, number two, extremely important is impulse control impulse control is the ability to not only stop an impulse but to feel it come up in the first place when we have a situation 
that we even could be aware of, but it triggers something in us. There's an emotional piece to it. There's, there's an emotional trigger that happens. We feel it almost in the chest rising up, right? It becomes a, 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 a palpable feeling in us. We have an urge to react in a specific way. This is a pattern, right? Situation happens, my wife says something smart to me, and my impulse is to fire something back at her. I say, oh, you don't understand of my, how busy my day was, you don't blah, 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 and, and blast her. If I have impulse control, I can feel that come up and say, no, give me five minutes. Let me walk away, let me take a couple deep breaths, and let me come back and be tactful in my interaction with her. Let me be tactful in my interaction with my kids. If I don't have that impulse control, the impulse to yell at my kids or to, to, to send them off to time out or to, to uh, not realize what's happening, in the impulse to react in a specific way comes up, I can stop it. More relatable uh, experience for you all. You're driving to work. This happened to me the other day, driving to work and I have to be there at a specific time and I hit a red light and maybe I'm cool with that red light. Maybe not really cool, I'm like, ah, oh, red light, okay. It's all right, this will be fast and I'll get the next one. Go a little bit further ahead on the road, hit another red light. Usually at that point I'm like, come on, another red light. <laughs> maybe not the second one, but definitely the third one, right? The third one I'm like, ah, I wanna break something, right? That's impulse, the impulse comes up that you wanna yell, you wanna scream, you wanna react to a situation that we don't have any control over. It's, it's, it's a red light. We tell ourselves, oh, I should have left earlier. I should have given myself more time. Well, we didn't. We don't have any control over it. This is impulse control. We can feel the impulse to react to the situation come up. Through meditation, I can feel it and say, no, that's not how I'm gonna react. I'm gonna respond to it. I wanna be more skillful in this situation. Number three, Last, but definitely not least, empathy. <laughs> Why is empathy important? Oh my gosh. If I can feel what someone else is feeling, I have understanding. And if I have understanding, I have compassion. If empathy gives me the ability to see other people's perspectives, to take a moment to imagine what it would be like to walk in their shoes, Empathy is vital in my ability for interpersonal relationships, interpersonal communication. I have to understand how that person sees life in order to be able to relate to them effectively. And where is this important? My marriage, right? To be able to see my wife, to be able to feel what her day was like, right? She stays at home with the kids all day. She's with a four-year-old and a two-year-old all day and their craziness and their little and they're just getting to the age where they're, they're pushing buttons, right? They know how to push buttons. They know how to get the reaction. Uh, my little two-year-old, she's like, knows how to take a stand for stuff now and says, no, no, I'm not doing this. For me to get home after, the, after my work day and, and, and be able to, to, to see her, to, to really see her, and to get us to, to experience what was her day like when she's just needing to share is so powerful. For you to, for, for me or you to stand uh, in front of our employer or an employee when they're explaining the situation that they're having a trouble with and to be able to really feel where they're coming from allows me to be so much more skillful in my ability to communicate with them. And so this is, this is the three major benefits of meditation, awareness, impulse control, and empathy. When we, when we cultivate our meditation practice, when we really commit ourselves to it, it radically change our, changes our lives. And it does that with the ability to have awareness, to be able to see life unfold in front of me, with my ability to feel a, a, an impulse, to feel a way, an old way, an old pattern come up that I want to react. There's some emotional charge behind it, but I have enough control to say, not right now. Let me take a couple deep breaths. Let me choose a more skillful way and my ability to feel other people's experience, to get a sense of how is it to be you in this experience? What are you really feeling like? What are you really, where are you really coming from? Right? This is a recipe for, for not only radical transformation, but beautiful control, beautiful skill in our lives. 
So I hope that helps. It's a pleasure to be with you and uh, continue to create a masterpiece of your life. Thanks, guys.